plenty of us surprised. Now, for a lot of you guys who have been following me on my second account, when I mentioned that the Serbian president said that we'd more than likely go to war before the elections, well, take a look at the next clip. 8,000 soldiers from North Korea are now on the front line helping Russia. But that happened like two weeks ago. However, they're making a big deal out of it today because they know that Kamala Harris isn't winning in the polls. So I reckon these dodgy fuckers are gonna pull something and the election may just be interrupted. Those are my thoughts. Tonight, just hours after the US condemned North Korea for sending troops to Russia to help against Ukraine, North Korea tonight test launching an intercontinental ballistic missile that could reach the US. Here's Martha Raddatz. Tonight, a dangerous provocation. For the first time in nearly a year, North Korea launching an intercontinental ballistic missile capable of reaching deep into the U.S. that the Japanese say set a flight record. This video believed to show the test missile then splashing into the Sea of Japan. The launch came within hours of the U.S. condemning North Korea for aiding Russia in its war against Ukraine, with 8,000 North Korean troops now deployed in the frontline Russian province of Kursk, north of Ukraine's second largest city, Kharkiv. U.S. officials meeting with South Korean counterparts in Washington, calling it a sign of Vladimir Putin's desperation. Russia has been training DPRK soldiers in artillery, UAVs, basic infantry operations, including trench clearing, indicating that they fully intend to use these forces in frontline operations. Ukrainian intelligence telling ABC News this video shows North Korean soldiers in Russia. Make no mistake, if these North Korean troops engage in combat or combat support operations against Ukraine, they would make themselves legitimate military targets. Despite those tough words, the provocation is expected to increase with a possible nuclear test in the coming days. And according to a U.S. official, the expectation of many more North Korean troops. David? The administration watching this closely just days until the election here in the U.S., of course. And Martha